And I, I, I would, I, if I didn't have faith in, if Christ was not the centerpiece of my life, I would find it very difficult to look to tomorrow with a sense of optimism and hope. But of course he is. So therefore, I feel good about tomorrow and next year. As you look into the future, into this next year, what are your personal uh, wishes uh, for the people of the world, of the church, um, for you? Mm -hmm. um, in some ways, my wishes for the church and for the world, they blend in, in several areas. We are here as a mission community, a mission people. So our mission is to reach out into the world, not to run away from it. So my hope for the church is that we will be very, very focused on why we are here. And that we will look upon the masses, the, 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 the people we meet, the multiple nations which surround us, our own involvement as something which is God-driven and which is good, which we should be doing. My hope and my prayer is that we will relate positively to the world in that sense, that we will do it with a sense of the strength that God gives and not with fear. Um, I hope and pray that there will be peace in the world. I mean, as a people, I, we are primarily a spiritual community, so therefore um, we believe that God has a good future for those who accept Jesus Christ. That is, of course, an important part of our faith. God has a good future for us. But this is where we are now. And I believe God wants the Seventh-day Adventist Church to be a creative force that can bring positive, make a positive impact on the world in which we are presently placed. So we will do both. We will look to a good future that God has, and we will do the best with the world he has given us to manage today. Um, hope for me, for myself. Um, well, I have been a... In Sojourn, I've, 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 been in, I've been a traveler for over 40 years in a sense that I have worked away from my, the country in which I was born. And um, I suppose to some extent my family, um, they don't suffer for that. I mean, but they, 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 it's a price you pay because you, there are many roots which don't get a chance to grow as well as you would wish. So uh, personally, I have my moments when I feel for my family because of my international travel and service. But they have been wonderfully supportive of me. I have um, three grown-up children, and they are scattered. In a, in a way, they are an indication of my diaspora. One lives in England, one lives in South Africa. They are married, have their own family. They have a very, very wonderful, interesting professional life. They are involved in their respective places. And my middle son lives in Oslo. Um, Maybe, maybe I could say with regard to him, he was involved in this accident some three years ago and came out of it with not much hope of finding anything that could be called a normal life. He was paralyzed when he came out of coma. He has made an extraordinary recovery. I mean, the doctors are saying way beyond what should have been possible. He, uh, he takes care of himself, he walks without any support, and he's involved in a study program now, which is a real challenge to him. But he is finding his way back into some kind of normal life. And he has said to me many, many times, when I have told him of the thousands around the world, even people who are strangers to me, who come and say that we, we have prayed for your son, how is he doing? He has said to me many, many times, Remember, since I will not meet all these people, remember to thank them for me. So I want to thank all of you for your prayers and for the support that you've given to my family. So with my family, I go into the year 2004 full of hope and assurance. And uh, yeah, the Lord is going to take us into it. It's very inspiring. Pastor Paulson, thank you so much. And on behalf of our viewers and the Newsline team, we want to wish you and your family all the best in 2004. Thank you very much.